This Cubs clubhouse is fired up and ready to go. The commissioner, Rob Manfred, is here. We've got the commissioner's trophy. Let me introduce who's with me up here from the Cubs. Tom Ricketts is here, the owner and executive chairman. We've got Theo Epstein, the president of baseball ops, Crane Kennedy, president of business ops down there, Jed Hoyer, the general manager, and of course, Joe Madden, the manager. I think we have some hard work to present, Commissioner. Why don't we do that? We do indeed. It is an honor to present the World Series trophy, and this one is really historic. Uh, your fans waited 108 years, and you delivered in style with an amazing comeback from down 3-1. So, Tom, Theo, Crane, Jed, and Joe, congratulations. Tom, what does it feel like to hold this right now? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, I, I just think about, um, you know, so many millions of people giving so much love and support to this team for so many years to finally pay them back. It's all for the fans. I give all the credit to the players, Joe and his great coaching staff, Theo and Jed, all the hard work they did, everything Crane did for the, for the ballpark and the business and the neighborhood. Man, it's a team effort, and we're just happy to have this. Thank you so much. I know you had a great vision, and I know you certainly hope, but now you can officially say it. The Cubs are World Series champs. How does that sound to you? Uh, I just want to say this real quick. Hey, the Cubs are World Series champions! Uh, feels pretty good. First time I've said it. I'd say, Sue, go enjoy it, Tom. First time I've said it, it feels pretty good. Thanks. What's bringing Theo? Come on in, Theo. Congratulations to you. I'll pass that over. I just have to know, you're watching this in the stands, and what are you thinking? How are you surviving this heart attack game tonight? It's fitting. It's got to be done with one of the best games of all time. Just unbelievable. And it's, what a testament to our players, their grit. You know, when we gave up the lead and then during the rain delay, I walked by the strength and conditioning room. They were all gathered around saying, like, this is only going to make it sweeter, boys. Let's grind. Let's grind. Here we go. And they went out and had an unbelievable ending, scored two runs. But first... Got to congratulate the Cleveland Indians, uh, the Dolan family, uh, Chris Antonetti, Mike Chernoff, Terry Francona, incredible postseason manager, great organization, phenomenal year. What a battle this whole series and tonight. But our fans deserve this. Our players deserve this. Chicago Cubs are world champions. Yeah, what do you think Chicago's like right about now? Uh, I, can't wait, I can't wait to go back. We don't need a plane to fly home. But, you know, our fans just deserve it so much. And all the former Cubs, everyone, this is for so many people, Ernie Banks, Ron Santo. Billy Williams, who's still here to come celebrate with us tomorrow when we see him. We're coming, bringing the trophy home to you guys. It's been a century in the making, and no one deserves it more than Cub fans, Cub players, the Cubs organization, Tom Ricketts, our scouts, player development guys, Joe, the coaches, the staff. Unbelievable job. What can I say? Theo, congratulations. Enjoy it. That's Theo Epstein. We're going to get Joe. Joe, come on in here. Joe Madden, the manager. That looks good in your arms, Joe. How, how does it feel for you? It's the baby. It's your first baby. It's 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 pretty incredible, um, standing here among all of our guys. Uh, this is why this has all happened. We, uh, we there's a tough game, obviously, the way they came from behind. We kind of regrouped during the rain delay, and this group never quits, just like they had just said. So give our guys all the credit in the world. A uh, phenomenal bunch of professionals. Well, as you look at these guys right here, who are all staring at you, ready to party. Yeah. What are you they, they most proud about uh, of what um, you've accomplished? Here? You just heard him say we never quit. I'm, I'm really proud of the attitude, uh, the culture that we've created here. Obviously, I think it's something that can carry us for for many, many years to come. Uh, just like in the past, not having won a World Series trophy in 108 years, I think this year is the breakthrough year. So now that standard of excellence could be carried through for many years to come. Joe, emotionally, how do you hang in this game? I mean, there was a heart attack every 10 minutes. Well, it, you know, you got to try. Um, everything was going perfectly until uh, Davis hit the home run, and then all of a sudden you have to, like, really go to plan B, C, and D. But our guys are there all the time. There was no, like I said, there's no Quinn to dug out. The conversation was great. It was, it was incredible. It's incredible to be part of that whole moment. When do you think, we'll let you go, when do you think it will settle in? I don't know if it's fully hit you. The Cubs have won the World Series. I promise you, uh, RV Drive, me and Jay are going to be heading back down south pretty soon. Uh, I will take it all in at that point. I know we have uh, the parades coming up and all that kind of great stuff, but um, it'll hit me then. Last point, listen, I want to congratulate Tito and the, and the Indians. I'm, I have so much respect for him and them. Uh, a great series, great season for them, absolutely. Uh, so I just want to make sure that I put that out there too. They're fantastic. Oh, wonderful. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, Joe Madden. And this Cubs clubhouse is fired up as you would expect. It's now time for the most valuable player trophy presented by Chevrolet. Let's bring in the commissioner again. Uh, this year's most valuable player in the World Series is Ben Zobris. Ben, you had a great series. And as everyone remembers, a crucial hit tonight. So there's a piece of hardware for you. <laughs> You, you, you've done this a couple years in a row. It's pretty hard to do. What does this one feel like compared to last year? It's unbelievable. I, I can't even put it into words. Um, what this team has battled through all year long and believing that we're the best team, but the ups and the downs and having to fight through things. I mean, it's an unbelievable team to be a part of. Every guy on this team roots for each other, takes care of each other, and picks each other up and that's what we did uh, during that rain delay. Ben I have to ask you about the about you know, the game winning hit there and, and you had two strikes you had a one defensive swing kind of stay alive but just how do you calm yourself in that moment and what are you thinking against Shaw there in the ten? Well you know I know he throws a pretty hard cutter and I was just battling obviously I swung at a ball with two strikes and just barely barely uh, hung in there in the bat and uh, fortunately he put one close enough to uh, the plate where I could just slap it down the line down there. I mean, I have to thank Riz because I never would, would have been in that situation if he wasn't such a good player. <laughs> ben, hang on. We have a surprise for you. We're going to bring in Paul Edwards, vice president for Chevrolet. And uh, Paul's got a little surprise for you, right, Paul? Thanks, Kevin. Hey, Ben, congratulations. An amazing performance tonight and all through the series. And I just want to say on behalf of Chevrolet, our 3,100 Chevy dealers across the country and kids that play Chevy youth baseball, we want to honor you. Look at it on the screen there with a 50th anniversary Chevy Camaro that's out on the field right now. Congratulations, man. You are wow, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my. Look at that thing. Oh, my goodness. That's unbelievable. Oh, man. I, I'm going to have to take everybody in a ride to ride in that thing for sure. That's you know, unbelievable. I have a feeling, Ben, if you drive that thing around Chicago, you'll never have to buy another meal the rest of your life. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I, I can't wait. It's Go enjoy it with your teammates. Ben Zobris, Thank you. the most valuable player here in this World Series, and we'll see if there's any other players we can grab up here. They're celebrating, enjoying this trophy presentation right now. Any other players we can get up here? Here's Anthony Rizzo. Maybe we can say a little to Anthony. Hey, Anthony, want to say a word real quick? Come on up. Um, we had a, we had a great piece. You were mic'd during the game, and you, you talked about how you were a glass case of emotion. That was like in the fifth inning. So how in the world were you holding it together later? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's the best game I've ever been a part of. It's the best game I've ever seen. Really, uh, just what a team we we started this year as a heavy favorites, and we went wire to wire all year. That's the best team in baseball, and uh, the Indians did a did one heck of a job. Uh, competing with their injuries and, and uh, but this is this is the best feeling in the world. Uh, before I let you go, you were here when this team wasn't very good. You know, you've been here a while now, and you've seen the transition slowly to this point. What is it like now to be on top? Oh my God, it's the best feeling in the world. Uh, you know, a lot of people have written us off. A lot of people have written us off this this series, last series. So uh, for us to come back three one uh, and win and finish this off in extra innings. It's the best rain delay of all time. You believe you're world champs? We're world champions for the rest of our lives. Not bad. What. Anthony, congratulations. Go enjoy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anthony Rizzo and the Chicago Cubs are World Series champions. Unbelievable. That's it from the clubhouse.